this episode of French Recipe, we're going to cook chicken tikka masala. Welcome to Nina's Thai Kitchen. We're cooking at my friend's house, Josephine. Hi, Josephine. Hi, Nina. Well, I want to learn how to make Indian food. We're going to do all together. And of course, Brenda, she's uh, cooking Indian food for her whole life. So she's an expert. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> Hi, Nina. <laughs> expert, I don't know. But I have been cooking for a long time. Let's have fun. Yes. Brenda prefers to use fresh ingredients and spices. And that is what I love about her cooking. And here is a spice tray that you can find in Indian's kitchen. Step 1. Cooking chicken tikka. Chicken tikka means chunk of chicken marinated and cooked to perfection. You can cook by an oven, pan sear, or grilling. First, marinate chicken tikka. Here are the ingredients. Chicken thigh will give you more flavor, but if you prefer chicken breast, that's fine. Just cut it into 1 to 2 inch cubes. Next, mixing all marinade ingredients together. Add chicken, marinate it at least 1 hour. Overnight in refrigerator would be better. Method 1, oven boil. Can just go ahead and put it in the oven and get that charcoal flavor on it. We're going to boil it for about 10 minutes or until it's browned. Wow, look at that! Wow. That's what we get. Just set it aside for now. Make a two pan sear at medium heat, sear the chicken until golden brown or a little bit burnt to get a sharp flavor. Transfer chicken on a plate. I like this method because you can use the same pan and the leftover oil to make the masala sauce. Step 2. Making masala sauce. Masala sauce is a tomato base with wonderful spices. Add medium heat, add olive oil and chopped onion. Stir onion until it turns golden brown. Add ginger, garlic, and solano pepper. Stir until fragrant. Add one cup of fresh or canned tomato. I prefer fresh tomato, but it offers more tangy and tart flavor. You may want to add one teaspoon of sugar to blend all of the taste together. However, I recommend you to taste it first. We want to see the tomatoes all crushed. I see. And again, we used uh, fresh tomatoes versus canned tomatoes. Canned tomatoes won't take that long. I see. The fresh tomatoes take a little bit longer. I see. That was uh, meat masala. Uh-huh. Okay. And this is paprika. Okay. Coriander. Wow, that's good. That smells good. Mm -hmm. Cumin. Cumin. Turmeric. Of course. Indian food. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go without that. And salt. Now we're going to blend this together. Mm -hmm. Add our one cup of water in here. Bring it all together. At this point, you want to keep it at medium high heat. It's now all blended in. I see. And yes. the oil is kind of going on the side. Mm -hmm. So it's getting ready now. And now at this point you can add your whipping cream. I myself like coconut milk because it's lighter and gives the natural coconut sweetness. And we're going to add, add chicken, chicken now. Chicken. Woo! Go ahead. Now we're going to add chicken tikka and simmer it for five minutes. Wow, it looks really, really good. Very creamy. Next, adding the black pepper flavor. And the end here is cilantro. That is the last touch of this dish. I think we are successful of cooking this dish. Chicken tikka masala is best served with naan and steamed rice. I'm so happy. It's time to eat. How is it? Okay, my turn, my turn. Okay. I want this piece of chicken. Mm. With rice, of course. 
These are mine. Okay. <laughs> Good. Mmm. The naan. And I'm gonna do the so naan. Good. Yes, I'm gonna do with the naan. Okay. And to that, I'm gonna add the serrano pepper. Oh my goodness. It has to be spicy. This is so good. I give her a 10. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.